There are lots of ways to turn a video into a GIF, and today we'll take a look at my favorite method. It's quick and simple, and there are lots of options for customization. We'll look at how easy it is to do that in minutes using your phone or PC. There are several methods you can use to convert a video into a GIF, but the best way I've found is by using a site called Giphy.com. Giphy is great because you can create and share your work, find lots of GIFs that other users have made, and use their GIFs in your own creations. Once you're on the Giphy website, click on the Create button. From here, you can upload your video file by clicking on the GIF option or by directly entering a URL to a video on YouTube, Vimeo, and lots of other sites. I'll click on GIF and select a short video I downloaded from Pexels.com. If you want to follow along, you can find a link to the video I'm using in the description or just use one of your own. To upload files to Giphy, you'll have to have an account and be logged in. Once it's uploaded, you can trim it down by cutting off some of the beginning or ending of the video. I'll shorten it a bit to about two seconds. Once you have it cut down how you want, we can move on by clicking continue to decorate. In the decorate section, we're able to add a bunch of different stuff to personalize our video, like text, stickers, and filters. If you want to convert your video right now without adding anything else, you can just click continue to upload, but let's add a few things before we move on. Let's start with some text. You can enter a caption here. I'll just put happy birthday. You can select the color you want the text to be from these selections. I'll go with yellow to match the text in the background. Next, you can choose a font style and an animation effect. For the font style, I'll go with pixel. I think that looks good on this image. And for the animation, I'm going to go with glitch. You can move the text around by dragging it, and you can resize it by clicking and dragging on the lower left corner. To rotate it, click and drag on the little handle on the center top. Let's move on to the Stickers tab. Here, you can find lots of little stickers, which are like little transparent GIFs that you can add to your GIF. To add a sticker, just click it and it will be added to the project. If you want to delete it, click the trash can icon next to it. I'll choose this falling confetti sticker. You can also rotate and resize it just like we did with the text. I'll resize it so it's large enough to cover the whole canvas. Nice, that looks good. Let's move on to the Filters tab, where you can choose from a variety of filters that affect the whole GIF. Spooky inverts everything, and it looks pretty cool, but it doesn't fit for a happy birthday GIF. They all look really good but I especially like Cross Process and VHS. Cross Process really makes the colors stand out, and I think it fits this image pretty well, so I'll go with that. Finally, on the Draw tab, you can choose a color and paint directly onto the canvas. I don't want to do that here, so let's just move on by clicking Continue to Upload. Here, we can add info about our GIF to Giphy by including a source URL and adding tags. A source URL lets Giphy know where the original video or image that you uploaded came from, and it helps them to determine if there are any copyright issues that would prevent the GIF from being shared across social media, and just to give credit to the original creator of the video. If you're using the GIF for personal use, you don't need to worry about that, but if you want it to be available on Giphy publicly for others to use, this can be useful to fill out. I'll paste in the link to the original video. You can also add tags that will help other users find your GIF here. If you want it to be available for others to find and use, leave public set to on and your GIF will be available to be searched for. I'll set public to off because I don't want anybody else to use this GIF but me. If you're happy with your work, go ahead and click upload to Giphy and it will begin creating your GIF. This doesn't take too long, maybe 10 to 15 seconds and your GIF will be generated. From here, you can right-click and save the image and upload it anywhere you'd like, or you can share it to social media, or grab the embed code here to put it on your own site. That's how easy it is to create a GIF from a video using Giphy. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.